Hey everybody, I'm Ben Javine, aka The Terrible Australian of Supermarcy.com, and this is my review of the two of the World War One set drama Testament of Youth. Sorry, <laughs> uh, Testament of Youth. Uh, so let's get right into it. Now, I should say beforehand, I actually haven't read the original memoir that by Vera Britton that this film is based on. So I'm going to be judging this film sorely as a film without having to compare it to the original memoir. Um, now, despite that, I have to say, I thought this was an absolutely terrific film. I just was really pleasantly surprised how much I really loved it. And I just, I have to be honest though, like, like even though this, when I was, when I first heard about it, this film, I thought, okay, this sounds like something that'd be, I'd be interested in checking out. But to be honest though, when I sort of saw all the trailers and the marketing and all that for this film, I just automatically assumed that this was going to be like a, a World War One set uh, romance. But if anything, the romance, the, the this, but I will say that having seen the film now, the film is much more than that. Like the romance part between the characters of um, Alicia Vikander and Kit Harrington, that's an important part of the film, but there's a lot more in this film that's going on besides that. And because this is a film that is really about sort of, it's in a way, it's sort of a coming of age tale, a, sort of particularly with the character of um, Vera Britton, who in this film is played by uh, Alicia Vikander. And sort of how we sort of see the film from her eyes. And it's sort of like at the, at the very beginning, she's this really strong willed, um, woman who wants to have, you know, a, an actual proper education and to become a, a writer. But as soon as sort of World War One sort of breaks out, that her perception on how things are, on what she's sort of been brought up to believe, that sort of, like, you know, changes over the course of the film. Because at this time before, you know, you know, with her family and uh, particularly with... Uh, particularly with her family, particularly her brother, who in the film is played by uh, Taron Egerton, who was, you know, you probably reckon, remember as the lead from uh, Kingsman, The Secret Service. Like, it, everyone, is, when it comes to sort of the military, it's a sort of very, how the, the military and war, it's sort of very idolised and this really proper thing that all people need to be doing. But during the course of the film, and through her experiences as... World War One is breaking out and how it affects everyone around her. Her perception of that sort of changes a lot. And if, and we realise that this film, in a way, is about the loss of innocence, particularly because in the course of this film, she realises that, you know, war is not to be idolised. It's a terrible, tragic thing that sort of destroys many lives, on not just on both sides of that both sides of which uh, the people are fighting on. And because and in real life, the real life uh, Vera Britton was actually a pacifist, so it was her, because of the, her experiences that happened to her during this time that she would become one of the more famous sort of pacifists um, when it came to war. And, and I have to say, though, the film does a really good job of sort of conveying that, and particularly uh, Alicia Vigander who's an actress who I've been seeing a lot over the last few years, and particularly this year, she's going to be sort of sort of the breakout star because she has a ton of films been coming out in the last few months and as well as the next few months as well. That's going to make her a household name. And I thought she did an absolutely superb job in this film. She, she is just... It's a great, great performance from her. And I instantly... Even though I've seen her in other things before and I thought she was great in those as well... But this one has just made me a fan of hers overnight. I just thought she was just absolutely spectacular. She sort of delves into the character, into the role of Vera Britton with Gutso, and we she makes her a fully flesh, three dimensional character, and and she sort of take and she was able to sort of let us, you know, what her character is going through the film. She was able to convey that so beautifully and what she's feeling and. I thought she was just absolutely wonderful. And also, you know, you got sort of the sort of supporting cast, which is a sort of a pretty solid cast they put together. Um, Kid Harrington, who's sort of her, 
romantic interest in the film. I thought he was really good as well, and I thought they're sort of they had actually good her and I mean Harrington and Vicando had really good chemistry with each other, and and you buy their romance, and also you know support like I said Tara Egerton, um, Emily Watson, Haley Atwell, Dominic West, Miranda Otto. I mean sorry, <laughs> sorry, pardon me, um, Miranda Richardson all give really solid, strong performances in their roles, and it's also beautifully well-directed as well. James Kent does a really good job with his direction, and I was a bit worried, though, because with a film like this, especially with a sort of a period costume drama, it would, there's always that possibility that it might sort of end up being kind of like, like a TV movie. Not a, a, you know, not that I'm knocking TV movies, but in that sort of TV movie kind of feel, um, but luckily, uh, James Kent does a really good job at sort of making this a much more cinematic, give the film sort of a much more cinematic feel to it. And also the screenplay by, uh, Juliet Tahiti is just beautifully well written. Uh, the score by Max Richard is just absolutely s sublime and it's just a beautifully put together film. And I just found that, and as I was, I was, what really surprised me most about this film is that how much I was really caught up in the story. I was just so, found that both compelling and moving and, and I was just so captivated by what's going on with both the story and the characters. And I just, I just loved it. And, but as you know, it's not without its fault. I, even though I thought the supporting cast all did a really strong job with their roles. I did feel like some of them weren't really given that much to do. Like, for example, Hayley Atwell, I thought, even though she's solid, I I didn't feel like she was given much to do in terms of her role. And I would have liked to have seen more of uh, Miranda Richardson as well, because I thought she did a solid job. Like, and I would say some of the supporting characters, I wish they were kind of given more to do. And even though I did think that the film was very cinematic at times, uh, there were times where it did feel a bit stagey in some scenes, and I could see some of the complaints why some people felt that it did have a te tele TV feel to those scenes. But, <clears throat> but my sort of problems with the film are very small. They, they didn't really particularly bother me too much, but I sort of thought, you know, those are the things that sort of um, I felt were kind of flawed within the film. So, but overall, um, I thought it was a, tr I thought Testament of Youth was a terrific film. It's one I would definitely recommend everyone to check out, and it's definitely a lot more than what the trailers and all that, uh, indicated it was. And if I had to give this film a rating, I give it a very solid four and a half stars. I really liked it that much, and I would definitely recommend everyone to check it out. So, Yep, that's my video review of Testament of Youth. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys all later. See you everyone. Bye.